The world champion, Ric Flair, tangles with Art Cruz. What a great opportunity for Art Cruz. Flair bringing his robe over. We'll put it right here, Ric Flair, saying that he wants his robe and belt over here on the press table. That's just where we'll put it. We'll keep the champion happy. Taking his time, handing down the gold belt. We'll fold it up and put it right here next to us. Keep Rick happy. Okay, boy, this is a heavy thing. <laughs> where if you put all these different emeralds and things in it, that has a lot of weight. Very uh, classy material. I'll tell you, Mick, I think we, you and I ought to go by Ric Flair's house, and when he gives away stuff to uh, Goodwill, maybe we'll get a couple new coats. Ric Flair rides Art Cruz down. Nice takedown. Look how he cross-faces Cruz once he's got him down. Great opportunity for Art Cruz here against the world heavyweight champion. You can bet the Dick the Bruiser is rooting for Art Cruz. He'd love to have another psychological arrow shot into Ric Flair before their showdown. Cruz with the hammerlock after a good move. Flair, a gambler, really a gambler inside that ring. He will take any risk, no gambles too big, and obviously it's paying off for him. He wouldn't have the gold belt. Flair, nice move, nice leg drop. Well done, he comes up with a toe hole. Ric Flair can wrestle, make no mistake about it. He is an excellent wrestler. He is a tremendous athlete. Flair trying to hang on to the toe while Art Cruz has a side headlock. But Cruz can't keep that side headlock. And in fact, Flair took advantage of the arm being around his head. Flair riding him, taking him down, putting him in a predicament. Count of one by referee Lee Warren. Cruz squirming about. Flair giving you a good lesson in basic wrestling right there. Cruz tried to tie up Flair's head. Now tries to reach underneath for the leg. Nice sit out. And back into the hammerlock, almost, by Art Cruz. Flair nearly slipped away. Cruz has to settle for an arm bar on the world heavyweight champion. Ric Flair. He knows that they call Dick the Bruiser the uncrowned world champion. And the time is soon coming to make him as well. That little slap, that little tap by Flair is trying to irritate, to aggravate, playing mind games with Art Cruz. Side headlock. Into the hammerlock. Nicely done. Smoothly done by the world champion. The man who took the title from Dusty Rhodes. And of course, Rhodes will be joining forces with Ted DiBiase to tangle with six-time former world king Harley Race and turbulent Dick Murdoch. I wonder if Race and Murdoch can get along. Murdoch has a history of not getting along with too many people, including tag team partners. And you know Race. Race is out for Race. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. And Harley Race would certainly like a crack at the winner between Flair and the Bruiser. So would DBS, so would Rhodes, so would Murdoch, so would Dory Funk Jr., so would Dewey Robertson, Patera, Blackwell, the Von Eric boys, Brody, Rufus Jones, right on down the line. Geez, what a lineup. What a lineup. Flair trying to cradle Cruz. Flair says, come on, count, a count of two, and Cruz having some problems. Those good basics paying off early in the match here for the world champion, Ric Flair. Cruz. Hooks the arm of Flair. Good move. Flair throws Cruz away. Fly. Tackle. Oh, did he pop him? Flair ducks beneath. Flair leapfrog over the top. Flair waiting. Tries to hip toss him. Cruz blocks it and hip tosses the champion. Cruz lifts Flair high overhead. Body slam. Oh, that was a bone rattler. Cruz charges him with a forearm. The arm whip. Hurls Flair in there. Oh! Flair catches Cruz with a knee right to the chin and then locks him up with a front face lock. The front face lock by Ric Flair on Art Cruz. This one it looked as though Cruz had something going. Well, Ric Flair took it away from him. He's a ring general, a good one. And he proved it right there. Cruz had some momentum, had things flowing his way, and the champion knew it. Flair really leaning into Cruz, straining, pressuring the neck. It's not a strangle, says the referee. He's checking that carefully. And there's really no need for Flair to strangle if he has that hole right because of cross face across that jawbone. I'll tell you. But, hey, here's Dick the Bruiser. Rings the Bruiser. Dick, wait up, Dick. He's taking the belt. Dick. The Bruiser just took the belt and the robe away. He? The Bruiser just left. He's got the belt and the robe. The crowd yelling. I don't think Flair knows what happened. 
Five minutes of a lap, 15 minutes left. I don't know where Dick the Bruiser went. He had the robe and the belt. I mean, he's gone. Flair throws Cruz right out of the ring. The crowd yelling. The Bruiser's gone. The belt's gone. The robe's gone. The crowd's yelling, Bruiser, Bruiser, Bruiser. Flair has no idea. Flair doesn't know what's gone. I'm not too sure I want to tell him either. No, he hasn't noticed yet that the robe is gone and so is the belt. Well, the Bruiser just came out and he took it and... Uh, it was gone. Flair catching Cruz with a knee to the head. Cruz and Flair battle. Hey, here comes the Bruiser hands on Flair's robe. Would you look at it? Flair sees it. Flair, the Bruiser walking around ringside with, you can see him at your screen, the Bruiser walking around with the robe. And he has the gold belt in his hand. Dick the Bruiser wearing Rick Flair's. Body, six thousand dollar roll and holding the gold. Flair, look at him, he just insists. Cruz grabs him by the light. Look at Flair trying to get at the bruiser. Cruz hanging on to Flair's head, yanking on his hair, like pulling it out by the roots. The bruiser standing with the robe and the belt right in front of us. The bruiser, is, well, you talk about playing mind games. That's what Dick the Bruiser's doing right now, walking around outside the ring with the gold belt. Cruz pitches Flair out. Flair sees the Bruiser. And Flair's going out after the Bruiser referee trying to separate him. Get out of the way, yells Flair. Here comes Flair. And the Bruiser is crawling into the ring. The Bruiser's trying to get into the ring, still wearing the, the robe and carrying the belt. There's the Bruiser with Rick Flair's robe and belt. Look at the Bruiser, he's doing a dance. Cruz is just beating Flair up. The Bruiser on a rampage. He's taking the robe off, throwing it down. Flair trying to get, the Bruiser stomping all over the robe of Rick Flair. The Bruiser picking up the robe. I think he's airing it out. Flair has gone berserk and he can't get away from Cruz. There goes the robe into the crowd. There goes the robe into the crowd. The Bruiser still carrying the belt. Flair trying to get away from Cruz. He chops Cruz away. There goes Flair after the Bruiser. Come and get it, says the Bruiser. You want it? Oh, Dick the Bruiser with the ultimate might. Dick the belt. I'm keeping it, says I'm the Bruiser. I'm keeping it. I'm, I'm not taking it. it. The crowd chanting Bruiser and Dick's leaving with the belt. Dick's leaving with the belt. Flair looking out the exit. He's going to the figure four and Cruz. Oh, I'd hate to be Cruz now. Cruz caught in the figure four. And Flair with the figure four. Cruz cried out. Flair charging out of the exit. And Rick Flair going on to the hallway after the Bruiser. The Bruiser said, I'm keeping it. Get that belt. Get my rope, damn it. Rick Flair and Sense. What is the deal here? Here's the belt. The, bruise, the referee's got it back. No, 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 no. It's Rick. back, Rick. Flair has his robe back. He has his belt back. Yeah. Rick Flair just in sense. Don't touch me. You got it back, Rick. You got the belt I back. I got the belt back. What about my robe? What about my pride? I'm a man. Rick Flair.